today I am doing another coffee shop tour. Um, so basically my coffee shop tours are just where I go around independent coffee shops in New York City because they're cool and interesting and very hipster. It's kind of like a little vlog around one of those coffee shops and then I give a review at the end. Today we went to the Flatiron location of Birch Coffee. <laughs> Sip it. Sip it. I really loved it. I think it's definitely one of the nicest coffee shops. I really love the um, back area that has the big communal table and then the bookshelves around it like a library and then it also has the chandelier above it. I love that area. So Birch Coffee actually have two hours of free Wi-Fi and it's hosted by Time Warner Wi-Fi so you connect to the Time Warner and then select that you want two free hours. I thought that was really nice. I mean it keeps people from staying there all day. Okay so for food rating I think a three mostly because they didn't really have a lot of choice for food I think there were three different muffin types and then there were three different magpies which is basically like a fancy pop tart Andrew had one it was really good food but there wasn't that much choice so they're getting a three for food drinks I think is also a three because they had the basic drinks like hot chocolate coffees cappuccinos My hot chocolate was good but I feel like Especially with the bean. I always compare everything to the bean because I feel like the bean is my favourite independent coffee shop in New York City. Um, but so the bean have like the Nutella Fitzgerald. I'd say that Birch Coffee is pretty pricey. Like a chai latte is $4 for a small. And their smalls are pretty small as well. Like expensive rating is definitely a 4. Maybe a four and a half. For hipster rating, they get a five because I thought it was just, it just looked really cool and I love the bookshelves in the back so you can just go sit in the back under a chandelier and read a book while you have your coffee. They also had those place cards at the front where you could take a place card and put it on your table if you were sitting alone and then meet people so they would come up to you and talk about whatever's on your place card and I really liked that. I thought that was really cool. And just the whole general decor of the place just seems very hipster and very independent coffee shop. For seating, I'm going to give them a rating of three just because, I mean, I do like the communal tables and we did sit on a communal table and it was nice. Um, but they have stools and the stools are really, really uncomfortable for me. I just, I don't, I don't like that stool life. So even though I haven't really given them great ratings for food and drink and the seating areas, um, I still think that Birch Coffee is really, really nice. I think the hipster rating just says it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee shop tour. I'll definitely be doing more. I have lots of exciting coffee shops that I want to explore in New York City. And make sure you guys are subscribed so you can watch those and give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what you thought of Birch Coffee. Mix 100%.